Uh, thank you. Uh, again, I welcome what you have done to date. Um, but again, like that previous speaker, I'm looking for a breakdown for every county. But when you're doing the county, I want it done by the local authorities that represent the area. We had a discussion coming in there about part as well, which is actually the city county councillors are actually what's in that situation. Um, I was in a, a meeting with IBEC um, two weeks ago. The biggest concern was the manufacturing and the floor staff that they have is the hardest, is 83% of their the staffing that they have are the ones that are finding it the hardest to get rental and find it hardest to get accommodation in the urban and rural areas. Um, so from the point of view of our major employments and the likes of Eli Lilly, Analog and all those, they have a major problem with getting rentals. Then there was a statement made there during the week, and I want you to clarify this one for me, where people in local authority houses could rent out a room. Could you clarify the breakdown of what that what is meant by that? Because there was mixed messages coming out saying that people that are in local authority houses that own their own houses can rent a room. Also, it said that they may be out for people that are renting from the local authority that they might be able to rent out a room. Um, can you clarify all that for people? Because there seems to be mixed messages out there. Yeah, just on that very point. We intend to expand the rental room scheme to people in social housing who are social housing tenants. There's some criteria around it we're working through. That was a decision government made, actually, it was to expand the rental room. That it, and what we did there is to ensure that any social welfare entitlements, that the income was disregarded from social welfare entitlements, that they may have, if in not, not every tenant will. So, yes, that, that is the intention, that, and we're working through with the CCMA as to what the exact focus will be there, because it's not a tenancy, it's obviously, it's, a, it's rent a room, as anyone who owns their own home can avail of the scheme. We want social housing tenants to be able to avail of it. Some complexities around that, if there, it's a three-bedroom home, there's one person living in it, you might want someone, people might want to right size to other social housing property, and we've seen that being done quite successfully in some areas, so you're freeing up a three-bedroom property as someone moves on to a smaller one. If that person then has rent a room and a tenant in it, that might slow up some of that. So there are some... Somebody in arrears? Some, some complexities around us. But no, the government made the decision that we want to expand the rent a room to social housing. To social housing. So that's, so it can't be clear. And for us to have, have the properties that we're talking about, for the basis of Limerick um, County, for that you visited recently, we will be getting the money for the infrastructure that was promised in Eskeaton, uh, in Drumcolagher, in hospital. Uh, when will I be getting the funding there so I can actually make this a playing level field for people okay. for infrastructure in, in Limerick so we can actually rebuild our, our towns and yeah. our villages? I know we've discussed this in the Dáil, but I want to give you a figure just in relation to Limerick, because Limerick City and County Council, okay, which is a merged local authority. Right now, the base target that would have been set was 75 for for uh, purchase with tenants in situ, and their pipeline's 179. Mm. So they're, you know, they're the performing Dunham. very well. Yeah. Thanks, Deputy. Thank Thank you. Uh, the next thought is mine. Uh, Minister, could you just explain to us what the that STAR scheme is, and also in the opening statement, the changes to the standard cost rental framework. Is that in relation to the Act, or is that in relation to... Just explain what that framework is exactly, please. The, firstly, the start of the Secure Tenancy Affordable Rental, in, it's an investment scheme, it's a, a bring about further, uh, to activate further properties for cost rental. So we're looking at, at a state subvention per unit or investment by way of equity of up to 150,000 per unit under the STAR scheme. We've got approval to do that in the middle of the year uh, from government. We have some large cost rental schemes that we can get going, can get off the ground. A lot of pause planning permissions that are there that we want to activate very large developments as well. There are viability issues. We can deal with the viability issue like we're doing with Creekona for apartments for purchase through the STAR scheme. The state will take that equity. It will reduce the, the, the funding amount, thereby we can keep the rents down to an affordable rate. And we've had a lot of interest in STAR already. How many applications have we had in already, Carolyn? Nine applications, which there's a number of hundreds of units in that. Yeah. But it's only open since July, Minister. Yeah. So. so I think there'll be an opportunity to unlock uh, a lot of further potential on cost rental. In relation to the changes we made that are referred to, in March, the income limit, as you know, would have been set net income at 53,000, clear look. And again, we did research on that as to the level of income that we could increase that to, uh, to make sure that we weren't 
locking not locking people out but making sure that people that we wanted the schemes to get to could get into the schemes uh, so we from the 1st of August the net income limit for Dublin 66,000 net and for the rest of the country 59,000 so those changes are in effect in the scheme and regulation from the 1st of August. Okay, thanks. And just in relation to the, that STAR scheme, is it the land development agency? Who, who's managing that, that STAR scheme? Oh, just is that the housing Star agency? Housing. Or? The housing agency housing manage it, um, but, and they assess each proposal on an open book basis, and then it comes up to us to, to sign it off and to approve it. Okay.